Good morning, friends. How is everybody today? It's Julie Hamilton with Life Builders bringing you tips to build a, a, a strong and healthy life on. Hey, if I look like I've been out in the rain, it's because I have. <laughs> we were walking on the beach. We just got totally dumped on, but it made this gorgeous rainbow. I could, there's only a little bit of it left in the background, I think. You might be able to see it. I can't see it, but anyway, hey, today is day two of our series, Five Simple Tools um, to Help You Overcome Anxiety. And today I wanna to talk about overcoming anxiety with your voice. And I, by that I mean two things. The first thing is, what I mean by that is that you can overcome with your voice by speaking things to yourself that are gonna give you life. For example, um, you could say, you could have some people call it a mantra or a life statement where you say, fear the, feel the fear and go through it anyway. Or you could say, one thing I always say to my daughter is fear is false evidence appearing real. So when she's feeling afraid of monsters under the bed or something like that, I just, let's talk about that. Is that actually reality? No. So if, you know, I would be, when I was going through this time, I would be have a panic attack because there was a van I didn't know parked down the street. Um, so if any little thing was out of my normal element, I would have a panic attack about it. And I started realizing this is false evidence appearing real. Just because there's a van down the street doesn't mean that something bad is going to happen, but it seems real to me. So there's, you have to come up with a statement that's really like your life statement that you can lean on and lean into when you're feeling those feelings. If you're a faith-based person, you can also lean into scripture. It says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. It says he's delivered us of all our fears. And my personal favorite, the one that I used and I still use today, is was always tacked up right on my closet door so I could look at it anytime I wanted and it's the verse that says though my heart and my flesh may fail God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever and for me that meant a lot because I knew that my flesh was failing I knew my flesh was not doing its job well but I don't have to lean on my flesh I can lean on God for that I still use that verse but here's the most important thing you have to use your voice to say it out loud and the reason why is because if you're just reading it you know you're using your eyes and you're using your mind to read but think about what happens when you say something out loud you're actually engaging two more senses you're engaging your mouth because you're speaking it and you're also engaging your hearing because you're also hearing your brain is hearing what your mouth is saying so if I say God's not giving me a spirit of fear my ears are hearing that and they're gonna grab a hold of that my brain is gonna hear that and take that in as information um, you could also do a song so you could sing a silly song like I I will survive so you could do a song Song. You could also do, if you're a faith-based person, you could do a worship song. Put on that music. Blast it really loud when you're feeling that fear. And, you know, when you get your mind distracted and, and breaking that circuit, breaking that cycle of thought and body and thought and body, you're going to be able to um, stop the... the process of the anxiety. Now the second time, so that's, that's what I meant by the first one, using your voice, is having something that you say, something committed to memory that you rely on or you read when you're having anxiety. But the second way of using your voice is to really share what you're going through. And what I found is when I started going through anxiety and panic disorder that I was diagnosed with, that I thought I was alone. I thought I was the only one going through it. And when I started talking about it, you know what I found out? There were women all around me that were going through it. And there were women that I admired that had actually been through it and they were on the other side. And so start talking about it, not in the way that, you know, I don't know, not in the way that you're complaining about it, but just in the way sharing like, this is what I'm going through and this is what I'm feeling. Can I call you, if I'm having anxiety, can I call you and, and just will you pray for me or will you talk to me and you share and the ladies will start sharing their heart with you people that you don't know in your life are going through anxiety and you don't even know it because nobody wants to talk about it and nobody wants to talk about mental issues but you need to be talking about that stuff they need to know that it's gonna be okay that you're going through that and if you're on the other side of it you need to be telling people your story because there's people who are gonna be inspired by you so Use your voice number one to disrupt the circuit by saying something that is going to get your mind off of that anxiety and redirect your thoughts. And number two, use your voice by talking about what you're going through or what you've been through to inspire and encourage someone else. Um, that is it for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I love you all. And um, I just wish you all the very, very best. And I will see you back again tomorrow. We got another great tip for you. And um, have a good one. Bye.